Hello and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, with today's topic, Newton Wheels. Now, Newton Wheels, named after the famous scientist Sir Isaac Newton, who is by far one of the most popular scientists of all humankind. Uh, his research and work with discovering the laws of gravity, laws of motion, the invention of the mathematics branch we call the calculus, and his minor works having to do with optics. Just like I'm wearing glasses, which help sort of bend the light so that I can see better and to do this video for you, uh, he worked with optics and light and discovered that all the light that comes from white light can be broken up and forms a rainbow with the use of what is called a prism. So I have here a smaller prism and when I hold it up to the light you will see those facets in that glass prism bend or refract the light and when you bend or refract white light it produces what's called Roy G. Biv. And this famous iconic image here we have shows the white light entering the glass or plastic prism and at some point that light breaks or bends called refraction causing all of the spectrum to emerge red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet Roy G. Biv. Now for this experiment I have one already made. The Roy G. Biv Newton wheel here is we're going to see the reversal of that. We know that white light going into a prism breaks and creates the color spectrum as we know as Roy G. Biv. But did you know you can reverse that process with making a Newton wheel or like a spinner top? And when you spin all the colors together, you get to see its original white light. So let's begin, let's make one. So what you'll need supply-wise is you'll need to find your crayons, markers, colored pencils. I use colored pencils for this one. Uh, your Roy G. Biv. For this one, you'll just need uh, a blue and a violet. You won't need an indigo color because we're going to do six sections to our Newton wheel. So you'll need something to trace, so I have a, a little round circle pottery dish here to trace, or what drafters use are mathematicians to draw circles. You can use a compass to make any size circle. Uh, the circle is up to you, bigger works, but I find that a smaller circle works. This one is about two inch, two and a half inches in diameter to help give it that extra spin amount. So you'll want to first, oh, let me get the light here, trace your circle as I did, either using your stencil or using what is a compass, setting it on, turning, and creating your circle. And when you have this circle drawn on your piece of paper here, first, uh, there are some parts of a circle mathematically that are pretty important. So if you have the circle, you have a part that is the diameter. So the distance from one to the other side of a circle uh, is called the diameter. Half of that we call the radius. Now for this Newton wheel, we're gonna need to divide our circle into six equal parts, our sector. Similar to our pie graph that we did earlier, each section being a sector, so each one would be a sixth, one-sixth of the whole. And I denoted that with this angle marker. And remember from earlier our angles video, we used the tool called a protractor to determine, let me turn it around here, to determine the angle and measured it at 60 degrees from your center and we'll have that equally separated all the way around just like this one. So each one of those angles are equal 60 degrees. So cut your circle out using your scissors, 
make sure you have your equal one sixth divisions on your circle. And what I did, use your parent's help for this one, parent or guardian. Uh, I used a stick pen to very carefully, in the cardstock, I used cardstock was a bit thicker, poke a hole into the very center of your Newton wheel. And the pen doesn't spin that well, so I didn't use the pen for me spinning it. So I then took a toothpick and put it through the center. Again, you'll need parent help because toothpicks have sharp ends on it. And that gives you the spinning top. Now, you can spin it just like a top in your hand, or I'm gonna hold it up to the, the camera here and spin it. And what you'll notice is the faster you spin it, the more these colors tend to blend or come back together. And as you spin it, you'll notice it gives off this white, shiny light because all of the colors combined will give you that white light. And it's the, the discoveries behind optics that Sir Isaac Newton was researching and he discovered that it was the white light that gave rise to all the colors. So the reversal would give you back those white lights. So take your Newton circle your Newton wheel, have fun spinning it around and discovering the white light and the Roy G. Biv just as Sir Isaac Newton did so long ago. Keep on experimenting, keep on having fun, and remember science never stops.